Hello, collective. What's up, what's up, collective? I hope y'all having a good day out there today. I pulled out nine love messages and I turned them over. These little heart love messages. So y'all can see it, okay, collective? Um, so how was your guys' this weekend, huh? How is your all's weekend going? It's Saturday right now. Mine's going okay. I'm just sitting here chilling with my dogs. Chilling with my dogs this evening. Wait on my old man to get out of work. <coughs> oh, loudy. So, do y'all want to read your love messages first? If you're new to my channel, please... Hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload here on YouTube. I thank you very much for just clicking on my channel. I appreciate you very much. I put my Kali Ma statue in here. I put my little axe that my husband made me collective, collective. Y'all know I had that little axe. I put it in her hand. And Kali Ma, she's stepping on her husband. She's stepping on Lord Shiva. He's it lo He looks little, but it's her husband because she gets... She blows up real big whenever uh, she gets pissed off and she gets that uh, energy of going and uh, chopping off demons' heads. That's what she does. And her husband, he when she was fighting all them demons and chopping off their head, I can't remember why she, she got that energy. I can't remember. It, it could have been lust energy. I don't know, you all, but it was like a desire to just do that. Uh, Anyway, he went and laid down in the field, and Kali Ma come, and and he went and laid down the field for some reason next to the uh, where she was slaying all them demons, and she come and stepped on him, and he said, "How could you not know that I was your own husband?" Like you know, and and then she like transformed back to herself, and she's like, "I'm sorry, I love you, my love." So all that means is her husband. Is the only one that can tame her. And I told my husband, I said, that's who I am. I'm at Kali Ma right there because in my cards, it's told me before. In that big old stack of red cards, you all, it told me, I don't know how many times in my readings, that I I was brought here at this time and on earth to to slay the uh, slay the demons out of people. I, I promise. I promise, collective. And my collective, my true collective, you all hit like and give a call me. Even if it's a little heart, you all. That way my work gets back around. I love you. I need to give that deck away. And I'm not getting no people because you all know why. I'm not, I'm not, I don't care because this is what I'm meant to do. I'm supposed to do that to people. It, it does me wrong, collective. I have to do that to them. That's, that's, that's how I cleanse the demons out of their soul. All right, I just want to let y'all know. Let me let my dogs out. Hang on. The door's right here. Come on, what's up? <coughs> yeah, so anyway, I loved you guys, and I'll be glad when all that demonous energy gets away from me because I ain't no demon, you know it. I tend to my own business, me and my husband, and, and if people says things about me collective, it ain't true. If they say I'm doing this or that, it's it's not true. I sit here and tend to my own business. I tend to my own business. I talk to my children on the weekends. and Well, my one son, sometimes he has to work on the weekends, so I just have to wait till whenever I can see him. You know what I'm saying? Him and my granddaughter, and that's how it is, you know, because they both know I'm building this business also, so... But, well, let me get into it. I'm going to read your love messages. Oh, Pete, power. You instinctively know what is right for you, collective, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Now, listen to that, collective. It's so true, okay? Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Boy, that's so true. See? Me and my husband went through a total transformation, and I love him, Collective. I do. See, yes, this is me and him. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit, Collective. Even if you all ain't with your soulmate, they're with you in spirit. Believe this, and they will manifest physically. Keep believing it. Believe it. Believe, say, I believe with all my heart and all my soul and my spirit that they are, they are already with me. That's what it said. All right. 
and they'll be with you. They will manifest in your life sexual union. Oh, somebody is manifesting you physically for a sexual union collective. I'm, I'm telling you. It says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Oh, going to give you some sexual healing and that sexual feeling. <laughs> oh, life is a series of... Constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress on our bodies. And that's true. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads you. Collective, you better listen to that. Go with the flow and you, you'll you see how, how good it is, all right? Emotions are a natural and necessary part of our lives, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Oh, what it's saying is, um, uh, it's a cycle. It's shifting right now, okay? It's shifting into this true union of bliss. They're wanting to, they're wanting to uh, let their emotions out. They was resentful of you because you might have been powerful enough to transform your soulmate relationship. That's what it is, Collective. And Twin Flames is in this deck. I, I don't know what I pulled out. I just I just got these deck in the mail. Oh, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Boy, that's true. That's so true. Accept... It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Don't sit and focus all your time and energy on something that you all can't control a situation. Do you understand? Don't, don't put your mind on shit like that. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Boy, that's true. If you think it, it will come. <laughs> oh, that's true passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Oh, you got a passion for life collective. Oh, God. That's good. It says your soulmate. Your soulmate is going to open up their emotions to you and their passions. They want you to forgive them because they had to learn how to go with the flow. Their love for you deepened. Uh, they, the, the, they have their own inner peace now. They feel true bl bliss with, with you. They want to have a sexual union with you. And you instinctively know that this is right for you or if you need to walk away from it. That's what it's saying now, Collective. Okay? That's what it said now. Let's see what else. Uh, I just shuffled these. Y'all see me. What? What's a tarot message? Reflect. Rest from strife. Four of Swords. So you've been resting uh, from... Well, you had clouded vision. You had to rest. Oh, I see something here. What it said. It said, earned success during your time of rest. You've learned how to earn success on your own because, you know, you're a high priestess. You you move towards a... You don't want to be, like, resting like you're dead. You're wanting to move towards uh, the light, showing others the way. You see through the veil. You saw through this illusion. Oh, and it could have been with a king of pentacles, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. So, uh, this is somebody, you know, who has a lot of wealth and... A lot of a lot of material things. Uh, they're uh, dedicated, hardworking, loyal fathers. Well, I mean, some of them cannot be loyal. You know that. Anybody common sense knows that. It depends on how that person is. You know what I mean? 
oldest son, it, something's come to light now. Something is getting way to happen. I like that sun card. Look at it. Do y'all like this deck? I do too. I wanted to show it to y'all. What else? What? Spirit said. Spirit said, Knight of Cups. Someone is bringing an offer towards you. You saw through that after you got out of this rest and retreat shit, and you you learned to uh, deal with your emotions, learned how to go from choppy waters to calm. You've learned how to calm out your emotions. You told you told shit, okay? You the high uh, you started. You you already had sensed a shift, maybe a shift happening with this King of Pentacles. It come to light that. He's in. He's wanting to bring you some love, success unfulfilled. He, he's been feeling unfulfilled uh, at his work. He's been feeling unfulfilled in his work. That's what it's saying. Uh, he's wanting to sell towards being a success with you. He's wanting to build a business with you. He's wanting to earn a success with you. Oh. Ooh, maybe my partner is finally figuring this. I know he don't want to go work collective. His poor legs is about to kill him. Uh, this is he's wanting to have a happy family with you, collective. This man loves you big. They only want you. They want to take you in there in that bed and wife you for the rest of their life. Now he come to light. He come to light. You're what makes him happy. Okay, collective. And uh. And um, you saw through that somebody was something about a couple of love. Oh, you saw through about this uh, Knight of Cups and this Princess of Cups. Let me get to rest. What's that talking about, Spirit? Yeah. How they was a uh, blended pleasure. Maybe you was feeling uh, rejected. You was feeling rejected. Maybe you felt rejected by your kids since it's too young or, you know, or this person. I don't know. But then we got Queen of Pentacles. Look, you're all matched. You're matched. King, Sunlight, Love, Queen of Pentacles. That's me and my husband. I love you, Spirit. I love Spirit so much, you all. Somebody's going to marry you. That's what it's talking about. You you might have did uh, try to offer your love like you was a little princess. You had to grow up. Maybe what it was, high priestess, that when you was young, maybe somebody touched you when you was young or something like they did me. And that sexual energy was on me from that. I'm telling you right now, collective, and I didn't know that until... I told it. I didn't tell it until I opened up and told my husband about it. And and that brought balance in my life. It did. You know, you have to tell about things like that collective. And and I'm glad I did because it balanced me out, you know. And I, I'm not back and forth in my head over somebody that I should have never said nothing to anyway. Are you listening, collective? Uh... That's all I'm going to say. Let's see what else. I love you, husband. You felt defeated. You felt defeated or somebody felt defeated in that situation. You felt defeated, yeah. You had to, uh... <coughs> you had to learn all was not lost, you know. Everybody has secrets. That's that's what you all know, collective. The thing is, having the strength to own up to them secrets, I know it can cause a lot of turmoil and stress in people's lives, but especially if you're in a, in a marriage, and that's what this is about. Uh, uh, when you see King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, that means marriage, especially when they both pull out. That's a definite fucking marriage. Are you listening? And it come to light that this is a love and marriage, and this is over here, you all. I would never leave my own man. So I just want y'all to know that. It takes a lot of strength to get through things like me and my husband both has. We both done each other wrong, you know, but we admitted it. And I love him for that, you know, and he loves me for that. And that's all that matters, collective. That you had the strength to stop worrying about all this damn 
lies, backstab, betrayal shit, you know. It, something about an empress, maybe somebody backstabbed and betrayed uh, you, and it was a empress, and you're going to have... You're going to be victorious over this empress. Uh, this is for readers. Are you listening? Uh, maybe this is going to resonate with my readers. And if it does, readers, you need to uh, hit like and tell me a comment. Hit subscribe. And But anyway, you don't have to. But do whatever you want to. Oh, stabs from the empress. You're going to have a victory over the world. You, you completed out this cycle. That's why you're going to gain some wealth. Uh, it got illuminated to you, whatever this person had done to you. They was trying to perfect my work or perfect your work, Collective. I love my new cards. Do you love them, Collective? You better fucking tell me. They was trying to... It got illuminated to you that your success... They was trying to keep you in a fucking hung up in a standstill, not let your fucking channel grow. Because they was perfecting my work. And I know it's true. And thank you, Ta uh, Tasha Tiger. And uh, I, I know somebody else, uh, a reader, that uh, I I've thanked you before on my channel. And it starts with I. And that's all I'm going to say. And I know that you helped me with that, Mrs. I'm. <laughs> you know who you are. But anyway, uh, loss and pleasure. See, you just... You was feeling lost and pleasure because your fucking kids left. That's what I think it's saying. I And I know it's true. I know it's true. Oh, and you had to have a great strength. Oh. You had to have a great strength within you. And to uh, overcome all these challenges with with devilish ways. Look at the devil. Look at the damn devil. Now you had to have a lot of strength to get out on them devilish ties and ways. What is it? They call it a smartphone. And you had to go, and now you went through a harmonious change. Where did you get this smartphone? See, you're balanced. You changed. You changed. I love that spirit. I love that spirit. And these people, if they was trying to ruin me and you collective, you know, and we are empresses, I can say I run my castle. Nobody else fucking runs my castle here but me. You know what I'm saying? They tried to ruin this empress. You're going to have a victory, and, and spirit's going to let it all out to the world how they done it to you. That's how you're going to receive money by you doing that. It got to illuminate it to you. That that because they was trying to perfect my work. They was going back and doing it at their channel again, trying to perfect my fucking lessons. And uh, they wanted me to feel in loss and uh, loss. Uh, you know, like my channel not growing. They wanted to keep me in loss. You can't fucking keep me in loss. I'm gonna keep going up because my collective loves me enough to help me get this back going. And I thank you, collective. And I'll give fucking money away as soon as I get it into YouTube. That's all I gotta do, collective. And then I promise I'll give back stuff like that. I'm trying to help my collective. I buy fucking cards all the time. My husband's been doing it. And I think, and I thank you, Tasha Tiger and uh, Fay Fay for giving me money. But you know what it was trying to say. Get away from devil ties. And you did. You started a new beginning. You said, I don't want to do uh, party and uh, coke parties or whatever it was. You said, I don't want to do that anymore. You're, you're going to receive some material gain and love and material success. That is the damn truth. You got a giant creative one. Oh, God. And somebody wants to give you some swift love messages. And about material happiness. Oh, and they want to tell you they felt sorrow now, Collective. Oh, this karmic felt sorrow. But he wants to tell you about something about wealth. This karmic felt sorrow over the, over your wealth. Fuck him. He can't hurt you. You're very creative. They're getting karma. They're getting karma for... Uh, for, for whatever damn magic that they fucking done on you, you know, it, to this ex established strength. Do you see that established strength? They could, for whatever they try to take from you, they've been waiting on what they took from me, Collective. Let me put it this way. The, these other readers have been waiting for what they took on me 
to prosper before I get around. Are you fucking listening to that? That's what the fuck it just said. Yeah, and uh, you kept working like with prudence. They thought that they'd run you off and you'd be all, oh, all oh, fuck it, and just give up. And you didn't do that. You kept striving on. You kept striving on. And uh, they might have been doing witchcraft. Look at our five of wands. They're doing witch spells on you. You're going to receive justice for feeling of up in your head and shit. Feeling confused and why. Like, they just trying to make you feel despair and like. You had done something cruel to them. And you was just loving to all these people. And death is coming by, gosh. And valor is coming to you. And towers is coming into their life. And uh, they're going to have a man that has total dominion over their whole life. That's the truth. <laughs> because they didn't move away from doing his shit to this uh, air sign. To this air sign's lover. They didn't move away for to quit trying to send little princes to fuck him and, and put burdens in their relationship when they already had love. Yeah, you're going down for that. It, yeah, it come to light, Virgo. You know, this is, my, this is my old man and I'm his light. Aquarius is his light. That's me and him. And that's for my Virgos. I love y'all. We're smart. We're smart. That's what that light means. And, and uh, we understood about, uh, we know about illusionary ex success. We know what the fuck that means. Okay. Uh, they wanted us to abandon our success. And we said, fuck you. You can't steal my abundance, you dumb bitch. Whoever you are, you're going down. Uh, they was trying to steal all your... They, they, the, somebody, uh, uh, they didn't want anybody to partner up with you. They said you wasn't peaceful. But they're getting judged uh, for doing that to this marriage. Yeah, you can't fuck with a marriage. And for fucking with this star's pleasure. For fucking with this star's man and her pleasure. Did you see that? Look at star, how fucking beautiful. Look at my old man. Look at my emperor. For fucking with star's emperor and her pleasure. P -p pleasure. I love you, spirit. Oh, gosh. And uh, they're going to be... Shit's coming to them with a shortened force. That's what it said. <laughs> and and uh, whoever his queen of cups is, she thinks that she holds the earthly power and like she is all, she's a fucking little princess. That's all she is. She's, she's feeling left out in a cold and feels like she ain't got nothing and feels like somebody is going to steal everything and but the, the, they're just slowly unstoppable effort. They was uh this this material trouble is coming with unstoppable effort. It's coming effortlessly. That's what it said. I didn't mean to mess it up. I'll go At, to whoever this Earth sign is. It's Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, this Queen of Swords. She chopped off his King of Wands' his head. Huh? Uh, and uh, you're, there's a, a offer coming towards you. But they're just trying to ruin you. It's an empress trying to ruin you. She wants to be victorious over all of your wealth in the world. No. The Lord is, the God is giving you plenty of wealth because it got illuminated to you that they was trying to perfect my work and you collected these people was trying to do it to you in your all's work. And uh, they wanted you to feel lost and like you didn't have nothing. And you had a lot of great strength to get through this and stop playing wounded and chop these devil demons' heads plumb the fuck off. And that's how you harmoniously changed. Oh, I love it, Collective. Do y'all love it, Collective? You should love it, Collective, because somebody loves you bup, 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 big. They do now, buddies. You know, let me do one of these cards for you. What's one of these cards for the collective spirit? For the collective, collective, leave me a message, collective, and I'll tell you something fun back. Horde. 
Lucky in Italy. The Corcello is a powerful lucky charm. The use of corno horn begun during the Neolithic period when it was believed to be a bringer of fertility and also symbolized strength due to its association with animal horns. Typically read, this twisted horn-shaped charm reveals the evil eye, a threat to the forces of generation. Repels the evil eye, a threat to the forces of generation, and is worn to enhance fertility as well as protect pregnant women and breastfeeding mothers. Wire or carry a corncello charm or hang it in your home or car. What did it say about evil eye? It repels the evil eye. Oh, I got to get one of them on my hear at. And Life in Buddha. The life of Buddha is believed to be a popular monk from the later Leong dynasty, a symbol of contentment and abundance. He had a jolly nature and a large belly that set him apart from other monks. And he traveled around with a cloth sack over his shoulder containing his minimal belongings. He's often depicted holding gold coins as well as a wealth ball, bearing pearls of wisdom sitting on a dragon, tortoise or standing with children place a life and buddha statue in your home for prosperity and move him around from time to time to spread the luck Ooh, get you a buddha a life of buddha and a horn because it repels evil eyes when people give you evil eyes it'll repel their evil eyes okay maybe you're a shooting star oh uh legend has it that a shooting star is a soul ascending to heaven having been released from purgatory Seeing one means you can make a wish and a lucky life experience is around the corner. Uh, see, I do this all the time, Collective. I'll tell you about it. I can ask the universe for a shooting star, and I get it, and I thank you, God. And if you see the star to your right, I actually seen one last night. If you, I asked a question, I see one. If you see the star to your right, it's lucky, but if you see it to your left, it's unlucky. So turn around quickly. In Chile, you must pick up a stone when you see a shooting star. And in the Philippines, you should tie a knot in your hanky to ensure your wish comes true. Go stargazing for shooting stars. Yeah, I do this a lot. But not everybody's tapped in is going to receive a shooting star message like me. Just letting you know. Just saying. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da you know, let me let me read these other love messages. Let's see what your love wants to tell you. Don't go copying and stealing. I know who y'all are and allowed us to. Oh, wowdy woody. Going on a trip to see if you can get the magic back alive. Ooh, that's what somebody wants to do now, collective. Somebody said that. They said intense connection experience a depth of pure love like this Ooh. gosh they never had a love like you i will never give up on our connection they ain't never gonna give up on you collective so don't you give up my eyes are only for you baby oh god they want you so big love is being rewarded to you from the divine oh wow here it comes to you. I was scared that you'll reject me if I open up to you, Divine Feminine. She won't reject you, Divine Max. One. Oh, shit. Oh, what it said. I saved every message that you sent to me. Oh, that what they want to open up about. Oh. You're forever mine. You ain't saw a real love like this before. Ooh, you sure ain't now, boy. You sure ain't now, shit. I'm definitely totally in love with you. You and me have the same level of love. So, that's what they want to tell you. Okay? That's what Pound Star Oracle tells you. Now, hit subscribe. And get, leave me a comment, collective, and leave a like. All of you. 29, 29, 11, 11, twin flame loves me. Does your all? So you better hit like. Because I know y'all watch my videos a long way through. A lot of you do. I know. <laughs> my channel has a good... I know what the fuck my channel says. And, and there's a lot of people it does. And that's why the motherfucker... That's why they're mad. Because they know I'm going... Psh, 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 on up, baby.
It pisses off other people. They don't think you deserve it. Only they deserve it. Them, them, me, me, mine. Fuck people like that. No, I'm not doing these. I'm going to do some of mine. Let's see what in the hell they says. <coughs> Spew it, spew it, give us a message. He has a terrible temper. He's not like you. I just promised to accompany you. Oh, you spew it. You tell a good story. That and flipped over. All right, let me read the collective. Okay, so it says, it says, you, you made an oath to the divine long ago to come here to this day and age to warn others to clean up their damn insides and raise the vibes of the planet. You did this for God and angels. That's what I did. And that's what I tell y'all, y'all better do. And there's they somebody's man out here and he gets loud and angry when you don't agree with what they're saying or telling you. Because he might be a little cold-hearted dude. And he might be only happy when you stay in line and do what they tell you to do. Now, if you have a cold-hearted man like that, they better grow the fuck up and learn that they're getting ready to receive fucking consequences from from God. It just said it. Walk the line or receive the consequences. No, God said you're going to receive the consequences if you don't stop doing that. People see you have high self-esteem because your gifts help many different people from all walks of life and your soul is joyous. Yeah, that's what I do, collective. I do do that. And uh, somebody is just wanting to break free from this. Break free from uh, worrying about how you had screwed around before. Break free from that out of your mind. Because you're a direct channel into the spiritual realm. You get cosmic guidance and downloads from divine and source. And they said, stop worrying about it. That's in a pious. I forgive you. I was God. I forgive you. I give you the Holy Spirit. I let you help others with your spiritual gifts. How do you think I will get all my ideas? That's how. Get some There's a psychopath following you around. They're wanting to give you an STD from prostitutes that they screw off the streets. And uh, you're somebody who rests very well because spirit is not letting people come to you in your dreams. So they're totally blocked off from you. You sleep well. They're sending, now they're sending a psychopath to try to uh, screw you. But I pulled two more tarot cards, like you said, and I found out that, you know, she's a sunflower strong and bold and true to herself. She's sunshine. It's a little hurricane. They know that if they come towards me or anybody in my collective that we have a hurricane inside of us of uh, any kind of weapon to kill, to take care of this person that's trying to give us a nut disease. Are you listening? They didn't understand that we, we were psychic. Remember, all people ain't good people. You have to pray to God and ask God to show you if that person is a good person and or a right fit for you. And you need to cut up, cut the ties because upgrades will come once you do that. Having children is in your destiny. You're a little spirit baby's floating around and, and magic is working through you and uh, you feel like divine gives you clues and they help you. And uh, so you can help others to find their magic inside and you're a good person and you'll let them have something that you, they need 
And you don't ask for anything in return. I've always been like that. And you need to accept that you'll not always agree with everyone. And people isn't always going to agree with you, collective, either. You got to accept people's differences. Are you listening? That's what we need to remember. Accept people's differences. Oh, wow. Look, I just cut this deck. Look, it said you're going to be made famous from your true story. Thank you for that, Spirit. If you could have any career on the planet, Collective, what would it be and why? I'm asking y'all a question. You can write a comment in this video. If you could have any career on the planet, what would it be and why would you want it? Now, i give you a lesson today. So, the lesson is tell me in a comment what I just said. Okay? You don't have to hurt people simply because you are hurting and mad at someone who's healed and happy. Thank you for that, Spirit. I love you so much. Don't hate people that's healed. And I tell you right now, if anybody steals this, I'm going to be pissed the mortally fuck off at my brother It's dead, Scotty Wayne, over there. Because he called me on my birthday, which is January 25th, and he died on January 27th. And I'm not lying to you all. And he said, I hope Bo wines you and dines you and fucking 69 G Pam. That's what he said. It was so funny. I rolled. I rolled in four life. And, you know, but it's, yep. So somebody, it says, I want to wine you, dine you, and 69 you. And that's by me, Pound Star Oracle. If I see it, there's going to be a copyright infringement coming to you, and you'll have to owe me some money. Hear that? Hear that? Okay, somebody's embarrassed their selves in front of a, a front of a group of people trying to make you out to be crazy and like you're an addict and a piece of shit. Their hire might look like that. The people that embarrass their self. <laughs> it's funny. I would lay down and die for you just so I can lay beside you in a casket that's right next to yours. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle. Don't steal it. I made that for Halloween. Did you see that collective? That's how much they love you. They want to be buried with you and go into the afterlife. And that's what my husband says, and that's why I wrote it. And I, I say that too. Hang on, I got to get a drink. Oh, shit. The planets are aligning to bring you twins together so you guys and gals can become a unified unit and be as one. That's what's happening. And they're in regrets for not speaking their truth to you about that. Your twin is. And your twin wants to say that the karmic has been trying to fraud you and him. They're in regret for not speaking the truth about how they know that this fucking karmic was trying to fraud, was trying to fraud you and your divine masculine, and they they're getting ready to tell you, and they better fucking tell it. I tell you right fucking now, because somebody is gonna go to fucking jail. You're gonna go to trouble. You're getting in trouble. This person wanted you to get in trouble or locked up, but they didn't understand it's coming to them. And, and uh, that person thinks that it's always about them. Like, it's it's a very one-sided, it's not an equal give-and-take relationship. That's how that goofy woman down there is. That's how that is. And collective, an average person walking around packs 13 lies tucked away far for no one to find until that great awakening we see we're more freer without all the lies to become one most truer and to feel brand uh, newer. That's my main pound star oracle and they did a study and the average person walking around had 13 fucking lies. They lied about a stalker. They know that they was a stalker around. Somebody said that that wasn't, that they want that they wasn't a stalker coming around you and they are. And your debt is getting ready to be paid totally off because the universe is wanting you to be paid back for all your good work and for helping others out with a bunch of shit. They, they appreciate you. And you need to uh, trust in the doors that shut as well as the doors that open up for you in your life. Yeah, that's what Spirit said. Do that. Spirit said, listen to Pamela. She's telling you the truth now, Collective. She's telling you. 
Let me pick up these ones and put them back in my stack so I don't get them mixed up. Pick up all my ones, I guess. Alright, now the rest of them went in that other deck. Or was they all in the same deck? I guess they was, wasn't they? I don't know, collective. Somebody just wants to break free from something, though. I think they're trying, they're finally figured out they better break free from getting mad and arguing over stupid ass shit. They're seeing your gifts are true because they've heard your readings. If you do a reading, they, or even if you don't do readings, collective. I used to hear shit before I ever did a tarot business. Why do you think numbers and these? I seen them for damn years, for years, for three years before I did anything about it. Are you listening? And I try to help you all to pay attention because the numbers will lead you to your destiny and career path. Yeah, it will. And I can tell y'all about that because I'm life path number nine and I, that's the life path number of faith. You know, at number nine, that's what it means, faith. I have that. These people that thinks I don't, well, they're just dumb or goofy or something, okay? Yep, they are. They are collective. Let me put them up so I don't use them again. I got a stack I don't use and then two stacks I haven't been through and this stack and this stack. <laughs> so see how many cards we got to go through to get new different stories? Oh, here's one more I got to put over here. All right, well, Collective, I hope that helps you all. But love is being rewarded to you from the divine. This is an intense connection. They say to every message you ever sent. You and me have the same level of love. I'm definitely totally in love with you. My eyes are only on you, baby. I was scared that you would reject me if I opened up to you, divine feminine. You ain't saw a real love like this before. I will never give up on our connection. We're, I, I want to go on a trip to see if I can get the magic back alive. So you're forever mine. You've reincarnated because your love was so strong. A love like this can't never die. It only grows str it only grows stronger through the years of time. And I wrote that, and that's fucking true. And I know that that's for me. So when y'all go taking and stealing, I know where it come from. Are you fucking listening? All right, I'm just telling you. All right, you guys. I don't know if somebody else has it. I didn't fucking copy it. I fucking sit here and wrote it. I got a great mind. I've always been a great writer. You can ask my fucking friends back, back in high school, y'all. They'll tell you. They used to copy all me in English. I was good at it. I was good at any damn lesson. Any, any, anything. I was good at it. And I was good at down sports and athletics. I tell you what, I was down good as hell. I used to, I about could outrun the boys and they would get pissed off at, you know, how boys are when you're young. You know, young boys and girls, they'd get pissed off at me. And I'd always like, challenge, challenge. And you know what you'd have to do, you know, challenges in gym class and you'd have to do like, tug of war and shit. I was always in that class at one. We would always win. I said, no, I want the fucking back. And I remember I was doing tug of war one year. And I got in the back. And I had them Sebago shoes on. Do y'all remember them brown Sebagos? And we used to roll our, we used to tight roll our britches. And we wore around Sebagos. And we take our shoestring and tie it around like that. You remember them? And I loved them shoes. And a fucking dog chewed mine up. Anyway, if you remember them shoes, tell me about it. Tell me. I, I, I love them shoes. But anyways... I, I got back there, and I had the only little somebody go, and it was like, Dee! and I said, ugh, and I pulled them fucking shoes off, and I went barefooted on that gym floor, and we went, ugh, and we tug a ward, and we won, collective. <laughs> we won. We always won. Whatever grade I was in, we always won. It's like you'd have a match with three, between three classes. We've come from a little school, you all. We had a little school. I think when we graduated at our school, it was like 280 of us. I don't even know if it, it, I don't even know if it was that many. I think it was only like two, we probably only had four or 500 kids in a whole school. If y'all remember what I'm talking about, y'all tell me, uh, tell my collective people back home because we come from a, little bitty rickety deep place and in our down high school we went to rye cove high school 
and it was 35 minutes from where I lived. We had to go up side of the railroad track and shit, you know. But a lot of us has to do that, but I was just saying I had to do it too. And then I had to walk up a big hill to get to the damn house. But anyways, I won't get off here, you guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. Please hit subscribe if you're new, and I love you guys. And if you and collectives, share this video with people if you know them, especially if you're in a spiritual community. Do that for me. I need y'all's help, and I love you, and I thank you so I can hurry up and get get over a thousand, start giving some damn prizes away. And I'm doing that with the deck, but I have to get to 500. I set a goal, and I and I stick to my goals. Are you fucking listening? I love you guys. Pieces. I got two to give away. Pieces.